guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Leash Note server. Today I am your host, Dinesto, the one, the only, who else would host on my channel. Obviously, it would be me. So, weird way to start off the episode is with a time lapse of me building this beautiful basement. It's not really beautiful, it's kind of shit, but it works. I'm happy with it, as you guys saw how it turned out. I do want to maybe do this wall, not quite sure. But, um, yeah, this is just kind of a, a set down of where I'm going to keep stuff. I might have this, like, as my designated potion room. Or just, like, my potion tree and all this jazz right here. And, of course, it's going to branch out more. Um, there's going to be, I think, another staircase going further down, like, in another room. And that'll be a chest room. Um gonna have quite a lot of stuff actually I do want to have an underground farm here so I'm gonna have to make that I don't know what I'm gonna do honestly I might make like a room right here or like a staircase going down to uh, that leads into something nice just under there I, I don't know this could be the chest room honestly I could just make the chest room in there um, but yeah potions and stuff will be right here potentially uh, I don't know what's gonna what else is gonna go on so, story time, real quick. Let's go ahead into story time. I uh, I had my first death caving with uh, Russ. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording. It was just supposed to be uh, an episode of gathering materials. Not an episode, but just a thing where I was off doing my thing, gathering materials and whatnot. And I got attacked by two really powerful skeletons. I... Couldn't make it in the time. Everything to spawn. I had like four stacks of iron. I had found diamonds. My first set of diamonds on the server. Um, <laughs> and everything was just gone. I had so much stuff. We had found like four ravines. We had found like three different mine shafts. It, it was crazy. But unfortunately, I couldn't survive. It's a little unfortunate. Not to mention, I got my second death just right after that too because I was uh I was exploring I kind of put sugar cane down uh there was a member who left and no names will be discussed but I ended up taking sugar cane from his sugar cane farm and while I was planting the reeds uh, I found a, a small little cave and decided to go s just kind of you know s see what there was kind of ponder into it and died by a skeleton fight again two skeletons I actually killed the first one and one of them just kind of like RKO'd me out of nowhere so I had two deaths and I kind of just gave up on the whole death thing when uh, it was uh, me Russ and T-Man I was kind of just chilling on the server uh, and it's like hey why don't we PvP this was actually I was in a whole different computer so I didn't have my recording software on there um, nor was I wanting to actually put it on there because I was just going to gather materials for future episodes like this but that was uh pretty interesting because we ended up fighting we all won technically but in in reality i i uh, was like best out of like four or something and i ended up with like two wins and russ and uh team ended up with like one win each but yeah and then we had a jack or uh i survival master join in with us and it was pretty fun but i now have 10 deaths on the server unfortunately through my accomplices um, we ended up doing a little more than just four rounds. We ended up doing like six rounds or eight rounds. Eight. Yeah, yeah, eight because I only had two deaths before that happened. So, unfortunately, I no longer have the, uh, the least amount of deaths on here. I think that goes to I Survival Master. Um... I mean, I've been keeping up with a lot of stuff. I know uh, T-Man just got pranked with the Windmill of Friendship. You should go check out Mine1001's channel because that prank was hilarious. I'm not going to give anything away. Um, but yeah, you should also go check out Russ's channel. And everybody else, honestly, they're, they're pretty awesome. You should actually be able to find them on my featured channel lists. I do have uh, the majority of the server on there. I might need to find more. But a lot of them are kind of inactive, so it's kind of hard to tell which ones are coming back on which ones aren't. Uh, that's the whole thing with that. But yeah, so I need to find a spot for a wishing well. I don't have, unfortunately, the resources to actually get it done at the moment. That is my only concern. So you go there. Okay, yeah, you take that. 
Populate. Make babies. Give me children. That's kind of weird. You didn't hear that for me. Love. Love. Maketh the baby. You bastards are all, all out. Alright, I see. Oh, that wasn't a good thing. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Alright, so walking through my little nice house over here. Um... I kind of wanted to prank somebody, but I have nobody to prank. I legitly have no one to do it at all to. Since, like, I'm the only one on here just chilling, doing absolute... I wouldn't say nothing. I'm just... I'm lonely. <laughs> what do I do? I mean, I have all this I could do. Oh, shit, my mouse. Look, so you build an exciting minigame, find an ice biome, build a log cabin, yada, yada, yada. All right, well, give me a moment. I, th I say uh, let's go ahead and get to a cut here real quick, and uh, we'll find out what to do. So uh, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm um, sorry for that little video cut. I was able to actually get the stuff I needed to do something, and today uh, it's not really much of a prank, however it is, but we are going to get something done, and we're just going to hope to God that somebody finds out what's uh, what it is. And just let them die. <laughs> as pretty fucked up as it sounds, we're gonna do it. So, I am gonna make a anvil weapon inspired by the lovely uh, Mumbo Jumbo. I really did like his design on this. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me just bring it up real quick. Okay, perfect. So, I was actually able to get all the stuff I needed, which is pretty fantastic, not gonna lie. Okay, the only fuck the only thing I did not get was a goddamn button All right, that's fine. That's completely fine with me. So let's go ahead and start off with some cobblestone So we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to have to also kind of disguise this as well Because this isn't really a big Looking thing so at least need to be two blocks and it's gonna be pushed out about right here, so Alright, so let's go one two Alright, and then Yeah, okay, so I know where to put it now It's actually not that bad. So first to start off with we are gonna go ahead and do the The button which should be right here, which I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the button somewhere else. I'm gonna see if I can use it in a specific manner later. Um, we'll have to test it out. So, first off, let's go ahead and actually let's do one more out. So let's do that, and then we need to. Should we need to do that? Okay, and then we'll do that. Turns that off. And then we have to do one more above there, which is perfect. Now, right here, we do need to put a obsidian piece. Which this is going to be a little bit harder than I expected. I don't need that one, so that's good. Okay. So that's not that bad. Okay. So obsidian piece goes right there. And then take that down. Let's bump one more up. And on that obsidian piece... We need a lovely repeater set to no ticks, which is actually pretty perfect. That's just about that. Now let's uh, let's actually just build that. I don't know why I put some of that stuff back. Okay, sticky piston. Where's that bad boy? There it is. Put that down like that. Slime block goes right there. And I just broke my pickaxe. Lovely. Okay, I'll use the diamond one for now. Don't really want to use it, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Okay, so now that that's there, now where's the... All right, so we're going to put a regular piston right here. That's going to extend out as so. And... Anvil! That's actually all it is. I might need to put it up just to see if it's going to kill me or not. Um, so, 
the one thing I was going to test was if I put it kind of like right here. I should be able to press a button. Oops. Actually, no, that's fine. I should be able to press a button and it should fall and kill me. Um, let's just make two because that's going to give me OCD. And now, I don't know if it needs to be a stone button, like precisely a stone button, but it should work. Now, the one thing I forgot was redstone. God damn it. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back for some redstone. Might be able to even find a button. No. I think I, like, checked four times, and I didn't see, uh, uh, what you call it. A, uh, stone. Stone block. It's a little unfortunate. Oh, the lag is kind of real right now. It's not that bad, actually. Alright, um... Alright, jump here. Now, let's find some redstone. Oh, perfect. Got some right there. Let's go back. Hurry up to Rustland. And then, gotta make the uh, the thing look nice and pretty. I might need to bump it up two more spots. Not quite sure. But just so it does enough damage, or if it kills somebody, it should work. I mean, we'll find out if it kills anybody soon. So there's all these mob noises. It's really kind of creeping me out. I might actually need to go take a refuge soon. Okay, so... I don't think this is going to kill me. However, we're going to test it. Uh, let's see. There we go. So that shouldn't activate until I release that. Oh, is it not going to? Or do I need to turn that off? Nope. So the original thing is it's supposed to be, unless I can't extend it out at all. That's kind of a little, hmm. Can I make it to where this might, hold on. Let's put that back up here. Can I not get it up there? There we go. I have a theory. I could potentially put it like right there. Oh, did it just completely miss me? So if it did, that's kind of weird. Alright, I'm standing right under it. I might need to put it up more. Huh. Okay, so it's landing right there on that other block. Alright, so how about right there? Okay. Yeah, okay. Theory confirmed. We need to put it up higher. And then I might need to make more. So, ugh, fuck me. I'm just going to have to redo all of this and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got everything fixed. I made this while I was kind of uh, doing it off camera. I don't want to put all this into it, just making it nice, look nice and pretty. So we are going to test it now on myself, unfortunately, because I have nobody else to test it on. Um, so I do have a few items in my hand. I took everything out, threw them, and there's a chest underneath this hopper. So you're going to stand on the hopper here. You can reach the button here, which is really nice. If you look up, you can kind of see what's coming for your fate, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, so what it says is, reminder, please stand on the hopper before pressing the button. Please press the button above the sign. And also in here, I do have a reminder for you to remove your armor. 
before proceeding. Now, the only thing, the only reason I spelled armor like that in, I guess, the correct English way, if you want to say it that way, because we don't have people from, Amer well, I mean, we have people from America, obviously, but there's other people from, like, Canada and uh, Australia that use that, and pretty much everywhere else. So, there's an item returned right here, which I dumped all my crap in, just for the time being. So, let's go ahead and see if this works. Alright. This is gonna suck. For Father Elishno! Oh! That doesn't do that much. That almost killed me. Shit, does it need to be higher? Well, uh, nonetheless, it was close. If I do any finalized work to it, I'll do it off camera because I really can't be asked to do it on camera right now. It's going to be too much of a pain. The episode is already dragging on pretty far. So um, that'll get fixed and we'll go ahead and take care of that in the next episode and maybe hopefully get somebody. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for awesome content. I'll see you guys soon. Take care and uh, goodbye.